In this video segment, we're going to explore the contract administration module of CoreCon. After a brief overview, we'll also discuss the contract administration settings, the contract administration landing page. Under the projects module, have a project number selected, and there are several ways you can access. If you're using the favorites feature, you can add the prime contracts, change orders, change proposals, and so forth to this selection bar. Also, from the project home page, if you click on client contract admin, you'll access the contract admin module. CoreCon's contract admin module contains several elements that you'll use to manage your project and contracts. First, the job cost codes. This would include the project-specific job cost codes, as well as master cost codes. You'll access the prime contracts, which is the primary way that CoreCon maintains the cost budgets, the revenue budgets, labor hour budgets, and equipment hour budgets. The module also includes allowance packages, change proposals, change orders, and prime invoices or progress billings. Each of these features is discussed in separate training videos. You're also going to see the project directory, a contract admin setup wizard, a brief financial overview, and access to other related functions such as the contract admin calendar, a budget and invoice history, and project analytics. Log style reports can be accessed from the reports options for each feature and an action button for each feature with multiple options under each. There are also several settings in the global settings section of CoreCon regarding the contract administration module. Let's go to global settings, which is this small gray icon at the top right hand corner of your display, and then down to feature settings and contract admin. The first option under general settings is the ability to toggle on or toggle off the ability to change prime contract and change orders once the prime invoices have been created. If this remains unchecked, any user will be able to make changes to the prime contract and change orders, as well as potentially you could over invoice your customer on a prime invoice. Corcon does make provisions for administrators to be able to make changes. Corcon recommends that this option remain checked. The next option allows you to import subcontract invoices into a cost plus prime contract invoice and whether to include or exclude retainage. The next option is the prime contract cost plus invoice item import formats. Cost plus prime invoices usually include expenses that are imported into the cost plus prime invoice as opposed to entering them manually. The invoice details table for this feature has two fields, a reference and item description, which can be formatted automatically based on the import settings. Since the reference can be used for grouping on invoice reports, it's recommended to have a similar import setting such as the date or feature setting, so data populated in this field is consistent regardless of the record type. Since these transactions imported are going to be grouped by this reference, CoreCon recommends selecting a similar option for each feature. You can also format how the individual line items show on a cost plus prime invoice. CoreCon recommends selecting similar item descriptions for each record type. You also have the option to include comments for the labor time cards and equipment time cards. The last option is a customizable list that shows up on the change proposals and change orders, and these are the initiated by. CoreCon does provide several suggested options, but we encourage you to customize this list for your company's needs. You can edit the existing list by selecting the edit button, which is this small yellow pencil icon. You can also add new ones 
and you can also delete the ones that already exist. For information on this subject, can be found in the help articles under the CoreCon Browser Solution, under Leads and Projects, Contract Administration. Here you'll find additional information and more detailed discussions of the subjects we discussed in this training video.